How'd the workout go for you today? Uh, the workout went real smooth. You know, wasn't that you know hard on you know conditioning wise. It was a real great workout. You know, they came in, they said they were going to take care of us throughout the workout, and that's what they did. I understand you and Bruno have matched up in a lot of these workouts. What's that been like for you? I mean, it's been real good. You know, me and Bruno, we worked out in Detroit, Atlanta, and we worked out here also. We've just been going at each other ever since. I mean, you know, Bruno's a real competitive guy, and so am I. So, you know, we're going to bang out throughout the whole workout. You could have gone in the draft last year. You opted to go back to school. How, From your perspective, how did that benefit you? Uh, I feel like it benefited me a lot because I came back to school. I got another year under my belt. And got some more experience, you know, taking a step into a leadership role at Arkansas with, you know, a couple of other older guys. And that gave me some great experience also. You know, I was getting more, you know, familiar with, like, the process and whatnot, you know, being able to get me familiar with how to pick an agent and all that. So it basically just helped me out on, like, my, you know, thought process, helping my mindset be able to get ready for the process as well. So it was just, you know, a big, big help for me. It helped me, you know, become the person I was. Offensively, do you see playing in the pick and roll as kind of your bread and butter at the next level? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like pick and roll a lot because, I mean, you can either get me a basket or you can also get the guy that's handling the ball a basket. Either way, you can, you, know, you can get a bucket out of it. Either way. I mean, that's like, you know, my favorite part of the game besides running the floor or besides dunking. I mean, that's my favorite part because, you know, I'm helping my teammate, but I'm helping, you know, me get open at the same time. How do you see yourself fitting in with the team at the next level? Um, I mean, you know, like I said, running the floor. You know, we need we got teams need bigs that run the floor. You know, that's the main thing. You got to come in and rebound. I see, I, I see, I can come in and grab, you know, a good number of rebounds per game. I feel like I can come in and, you know, just give as much energy as I possibly can to the team. You know, just come in, be that guy. You know, it's high energy from the beginning to the end. None, none, none more, none less. <laughs> Where do you need to develop the most to prepare for the NBA? Um, working on my handles a little bit because, you know, back to the basket is somewhat almost extinct in the NBA now. Just working on my handles, being able to take people off the dribble, working on my jump shot, you know, working on, you know, being able to stay in game shape as well, too. We're a week away now from draft night. What will it mean to you when you hear your name called? Uh, it's going to mean a lot. It's going to mean that, like, you know, my work has paid off, but the work is just now beginning. Because, you know, you can't just stop when your name is called. You always got to be ready for the next thing. Because, I mean, you know, going through that, I mean, it's going to be great. You know, you're going to have fun that night. But the next day is, you know, hit the ground run. You got to become, you know, you're trying to boost your career up to where you can stay in the league instead of just getting your name called, having one year and getting out the league.